Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and we're doing another character guide and today we're going to be doing Jim Beckworth from The Harder They Fall. And so this is another uh, widely requested video on the channel. A lot of people wanted to see this and so I figured I'd do the whole thing. So we're going to do guns, the outfit, and the character creation. So hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to have your character looking as close to Jim Beckworth as I've been able to do it. Again my weakest point is typically facial reconstruction because I'm really bad at doing that but I think I'm getting a little bit better and I think this one turned out pretty good. So if at any point in the video you find yourself enjoying it or thinking it was useful, definitely go ahead and click that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel as it's the only way that my channel will ever grow and it'll help you stay up to date on all the content that I release here. So with all that in mind, let's just dive on in and start it off with weapons. All right, so Jim Beckworth in the film has a matched set of very unique uh, single action army revolvers, so Colt revolvers. And so the way to imitate that here in the game is to take your Cattleman revolver, which is the Colt single action army revolver, and customize it just like this. So you give it the short barrel, improved rifling, improved sights, and you're going to want to put the pearl grip on it. Then no engravings on the gun and no carving on the grip. It should look pretty stock that way. But then your metals should look like this. So you make the barrel nice and dark. Uh, blued steel is the darkest option for a barrel, and it appears to match his barrel in the film the best. Then, of course, the cylinder needs to be gold, because very noticeably in the film, the cylinder of his gun is gold-plated, which uh, really stands out and looks pretty fancy. Then you're going to want to make the frame and the hammer browned steel, because that's what they are in the film. And uh, the the sight should be blackened steel and the trigger should be blackened steel. Uh, this is, at least in my opinion, almost an exact replica of his guns from the film. So like I said, it's a matched set of the of these. As far as I can tell, there are no differences in the two guns. They both look like this. So if you want to do Jim Beckworth's guns, then uh, just two of these and you've got it. And of course, at 14 gold bars, it's uh, not what I'd call super cheap to customize it, but it's also not crazy expensive. So uh, that is the guns for Jim Beckworth. Let's move on to the outfit. All right, and so here we have the outfit for Jim Beckworth, and I think it looks pretty dang good. I think it turned out looking a lot like his does in the movie. Uh, the only main thing Thing, uh, difference being between the photo that uh, I based this outfit off of. There's two things. One, he has his coat over his holsters, which unfortunately we can't do in here. And the other is his vest or jacket or whatever he's wearing underneath the large coat, which I think is a vest, is unbuttoned, uh, which again, we also can't do. So I think this is the closest we can come to making his outfit. And I think it turned out pretty good. So let's just go through the items that make up this outfit. All right, so for the hat, the one that I'm using is the row barrow hat. And in my opinion, it's the best one. It looks almost exactly like his. He wears a pretty clean, pretty uniform looking black felt hat. The brim does not appear to bend down very much in any direction and it's uh, all very uniform. The, the crown isn't crimped, it's flat topped. So the, the row barrow hat is in my opinion the best option for his hat. If you don't have the row barrow hat because it was a limited time item with the quick drop pass in the summer of 2021, then the next best alternative is this one. The clean black variant of the drifter hat looks somewhat like it. The brim bends up just a little bit too much but other than that I think this is the next best option. Like I said the row barrow hat beats this one by a lot so so if you have that, definitely go with it. Otherwise, the black drifter hat, I think, is the next best alternative. But if you don't like the way the drifter hat looks, there is one other option. The clean black variant of the stalker hat works. It's not this, It's not quite as good as the drifter hat, in my opinion, because the, the crown of it is crimped and the side bends up even a little bit more and it's all a little bit more curved and, and Jim Beckworth's is very clean and straight. So you can go with this one if you don't like the drifter hat or if you don't have the Robero hat, but in my opinion, it's the worst of the three. So that's the hat. Then for neckwear, he wears a red red bandana uh, that he keeps around his neck, obviously. And I think the best option is the 18th variant of the pattern bandana. It's the slightly more wore out red one. I think this looks pretty much exactly like the one he wears in the film. Perhaps this one's a little bit too light. His might be just a shade darker, but I think this one works and matches the outfit rather well. So that's the bandana. Then for the coat that he's wearing, uh, there's a couple options that work passably well, but in my opinion, the best one is this uh, darker gray variant of the classic frock coat. In the film, he's wearing uh, what appears to be a gray woolen over coat. Uh, we don't have anything that looks exactly like that, but we have a couple things that come approximately close. And I think this uh, darker gray variant to the frock coat is the way to go. If you don't like this one or you don't have it, there are a few other options that work almost as well. This gray variant of the shotgun coat works. I think it's not quite as good because the lapels are folded up in his arm and this one's also a little bit longer. So there's a couple reasons why I don't like the shotgun coat quite as much, uh, but it would work if you don't have the classic frat coat. And of course, the gray duster also works. This one is unfortunately a little bit too dirty and wore down, so I don't really like the way it looks, but it also gives sort of the same feel to the outfit. But out of the three, I would definitely say this one's the worst. So that's coats. Then for the vest, uh, even though it's not perfect, I think the best option is this seventh variant to the traditional vest. His isn't striped, but it is a slightly darker gray than the coat that he wears, uh, or maybe even a 
slightly grayish brown hard to say uh, but I think this one matches it the best out of all the options available in the game so that's the best then for the shirt he wears a blue button-up shirt uh, that has a regular looking collar and it appears to be just plain blue uh, so the best option for that is the fifth variant of the work shirt this blue one unfortunately this one's got a bunch of like dust or dirt all over it and his is decently clean in the film so that's a problem but considering you cover it up with a jacket and a vest it minimizes that uh, the dirt appearance quite well so that's the shirt then he does wear rings so for the right hand uh, or for the left hand ring I'm using the Carthage ring and for the right hand rings I'm using the red cliff rings for weapon equipment I chose to use the uh, reddish brown bulger gun belt and the matching offhand holster for it uh, it doesn't match his belt perfectly but it's approximately the same color and since he has a match set of revolvers we do have to use uh, two holsters if you want to do that match set so that's uh, all there is for weapon equipment then for pants he appears to be using either very dark brown or in my opinion I think they look black pants and I think the best way to match the style and color and and also match for the outfit is the clean black clerk pants. Uh, they match his pretty well, almost perfectly, I would say, in my opinion. So that's the pants for this outfit. And then lastly, for boots, we have the Worn Rovers boots, and we're going to be using the first variant, the sort of wore out black ones, and we're going to tuck them into the pants just like he does in the movie. And so that is Jim Beckworth from The Harder They Fall. Like I said, I think looking side by side, it looks a lot like him. I think the outfit turned out pretty good. Of course, like I said, it'd be great if we could open up that vest like he has it, and it would also be great if we could put the, uh, like, the bottom of our coat in front of our holsters instead of having them pulled back, uh, because then it would look perfect. But I'll other than that, I still think it looks really, really good like this. So that's Jim Beckworth. Let's uh, move on to hair and facial hair, and then we'll do facial customization. All right, so for hair, uh, it's pretty simple. We actually have a style that looks a lot like his, and so we use the curly afro and do the black color for it. It matches his pretty dang well. Then for facial hair, we're, uh, of course, doing a rather young character who is clean-shaven, so the obvious option is clean-shaven. And following that same pattern, we will not be using any facial stubble. So that's all for hair and facial hair. Let's move on to the facial customization. All right, so here we have uh, the facial and other customization options for him. So as you can see, I went with the 17th heritage, op heritage option. Then I did the first skin tone for that heritage. I went with 18. It would have been nice if we could go lower, but of course 18 is the lowest age we can have, and it works decently because obviously the main thing there is we just want to make him look nice and young like he does in the movie. Uh, then for the body build, we went with skinny because he's a real small skinny guy. Uh, then for eye color, we did the uh, 13th variant. It's sort of this, I think you call that color hazel, but of course I'm not very sure. I think it looks the most like the actor's actual eye color. And then for eyebrow we did bushy because they're uh, pretty prominent eyebrows. So that is all the surface stuff. Let's go through all the custom sliders. I'll give you a little bit of time on each one. So if you're trying to follow along, you can uh, you can do that pretty easily. If I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video or of course go into your video playback settings and slow down the playback speed as far as necessary. So let's just get to it. And so there we have the full character customization. So I think it looks a decent amount like him. Looking at him side by side, it's hard to do it. I mean, it would probably help if my character was smiling because uh, the picture that I was basing it off of uh, had Jim Beckworth smiling pretty wide and that definitely changes the way the face looks. Also, I think the chin could maybe be a little bit more rounded. That might help a little bit. But whatever the case is, I think it comes pretty close and looks a decent amount like him. Uh, plus, with the outfit and the guns and everything, I feel like people will recognize it. That's all there is for today. That's the whole character. If you followed all these steps, you should have your guns, your outfit, and your character looking a lot like 
like Jim Beckworth from The Harder They Fall. Thanks so for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.